what are we doing here? It's, we are building, rebuilding, recreating a synagogue that existed from sometime in the 17th century in Ukraine. That's the simple part of the sentence. I'm Ed Levin. I live in Philadelphia. Uh, I'm a longtime member, actually a founder of the Timber Framers Guild, which started back in the mid-80s. It's a beautiful kind of bucolic setting. The field is full of tents and uh, sawhorses and uh, people at work, and generally it resounds to the clunk of axes and the rasp of saws. And uh, It's a pretty uh, wonderful thing just sometimes to close your eyes and listen. It's a building that has two parts. It has its outer shell and frame and walls, and it has this inner curved, soft, polychrome cupola that was a place of worship and kind of the central hub of the Jewish community of Vovodich. Well, we start at 8 o'clock with the morning meeting always. We call the roll, make sure we're all here and Andrew. make sure everybody's accounted for. Emma. Here. Ed. Yep. Leon. After the meeting, we head right out, grab the tools, and we go to it. The students are art students mostly, some others. We've had a Jewish studies major, major from Poland. We have sculptors, we have painters, we have historians, and so on. So uh, right now we're on what's called the pit saw, and I'm standing on top of the log that we have hewn on all four sides, sort of working together in a rhythm using gravity. My name is Emma Pearl Payne. I'm from Brookline, Massachusetts. I'm a ceramics major at Massachusetts College of Art. I spent the majority of my life as a ballerina. That's another reason why I enjoy the physical aspect of this project, because it's a lot like a dance, working, getting, using your body to, I mean, create something. Part of my mom's family is Polish. And it's like a great way to get in touch with my roots and working on a synagogue. I know my grandfather would be overjoyed because he's gotten a little more into his Judaism thing in his later years. Anybody have a marker? Darby? One half of my family had uh, some roots in the northeastern part of the country near Bialystok. There was a night in one, on one of the early trips in Bialystok to investigate this whole subject of wooden synagogues where we're in the, the art museum in Bialystok, and then they invited a woman, a folk singer, and she came from Tel Aviv, I think, and uh, she was up there singing these exotic tunes, but, and I don't ever remember, you know, my grandmother singing to me or anything, but I was humming and singing right along with her, and I had no idea where that came from. But it came from some deep place, I can tell you. It really is a labor of love, creating, recreating this synagogue, which was destroyed through all of this hate, but it's going back to what was before, just centuries of, of people using these buildings and loving these buildings and, and coming together as a community, and we're recreating that memory in a physical sense, just putting back what was. We are a village. You know, we eat together, we work together. And the students pluck at one of the heartstrings of that, which is they come and they go. And then eventually we'll be gone. And I think that that's probably historically accurate. You know, people come together for big projects, like to build a cathedral or whatever, and they work together. They have, must have the same sorts of solidarities that form, and then they disperse. So it's part of life, and you know, but uh, it has its easier and harder moments. <laughs> Thank you.